Good evening. Teacher? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I know you're speaking because you're moving your mouth, but I can hear you. Um, can, you can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. Welcome back. Hello, the clean. Thank you. All right, good, nice. All right, how are you, Oscar? Ah, I'm okay. Good, good. All right, so what is today's date? Today uh, is sec October 2nd. 2nd? No. 2nd is 1st. Ah, oh, 1st. What October is the, the correct first. order to say the date? Uh, if it's if 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 it's the American version, first you go with the month and then with the date. So you say October first. October first. If, if you're using the British version, you can say first of October. And uh, what about the date? If you want. Oh, to the date. The date is first. Date. Yeah. So you say today is Thursday, October first, two thousand twenty. Or if you prefer, you can use the British version and say today is Thursday, 1st of October, 2020. Okay. But the American version will be the day that will be Thursday, then October, then you go with the with the, the date, date, exactly the number. Uh -huh. The number and uh, and finally the, the year. And finally the year, 2020. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. All right, so today is October 1st. October what, is, 1st. what is the celebration today? Kids Day. Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's yes. Day. Yeah, Children's Day. Exactly. Children's Day. Yes. So have there been any celebrations today concerning Children's Day? No, uh -huh. no. no, due to the pandemic. Right. Exactly. Due to the pandemic, you know, they have canceled um, different events in this 2020. Okay. So welcome back. It's uh, October 1st, Children's Day. Um, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? No. What were the topics? Who remembers? Who remembers the topics? We were practicing uh, the present perfect continuous. Okay, the present perfect continuous. And, uh, but I don't remember the, the, the topics. Okay. The conversation, no, sorry. Okay. All right. So, uh, yes, uh, we were using the present perfect continuous. Um, what is the function of the present perfect continuous? What's the function? Remember, we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure and every tense has a different function. What is the function of the present perfect continuous? I think that is to indicate an action that is still happening. Yes, that's yes. exactly what it is. It indicates an action that began in the past and it's still happening, yes. So you always have to say, I have been teaching, you have been attending, she has been doing laundry. So you use have or has, you use been, and the form of the verb is always ing form. Okay. okay. Um, any questions or comments? No. 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 Okay. So I will give you three minutes, three minutes or four, so you guys can talk about how Salvadorians usually uh, celebrate uh, Children's Day on a regular basis. So let me see this here. Right here, at a room, at a room. How people celebrate now and how you celebrated when you were little. So, here we go. Okay. 
You use past tense and you compare with the simple present. Used to, simple past, past continuous, would, and so on. Yeah, can yeah, now? Now I can, yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, okay, I think it's the connection because here is raining. Here is raining too. Mm, okay. Where are you, Renia? What part of El Salvador? Lourdes. Lourdes oh, right, right, right. Yes, it's raining right now. She's telling the yes. truth. Yeah. It's a light yes. rain, but it's raining. Exactly, good. A light rain. Or sometimes we went to the a movie theater. I remember that. And actually, uh, we don't celebrate the the child's the children's day. Uh, currently, yeah, uh -huh. we don't celebrate the children's day. Yeah, because in my family we don't have any childrens. Okay. I see. Oh, oh, uh, in. In, in my family with my parents and my sister, yeah, but in my uh, okay, uncles family. and uh -huh. nuclear family, yeah, we have a, a nep nephews, nephews. I don't know what is the activity. Hello, I'm here to tell you what the activity is. Hello, teacher. Uh, we're, 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 <laughs> we're, you, dis teacher. we're discussing how uh, people celebrate uh, Children's Day in El Salvador. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. And how you celebrated when you were little. Oh, I remember we used to make excursions or we used to uh, break piñatas. I mean, different things. Got it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All Thank right. you, teacher. All right. Yes. Good. Thank you, teacher. All right. The place uh, near to the neighborhood is, was uh, next to El Teleférico. Ah, nice. Okay, so... so I, I, Mm -hmm. Every child's day, children's day, you visit the teleférico. Every weekend, almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost every weekend. But I used nice. to. But on children's day, I uh, the neighbors used to celebrate, celebrate it together, uh, breaking breaking piñatas, and having a party, collective party. I mean. The, the whole neighbors uh, used to collect money, and, and then the and show like a pizza, and also and it's cool the the most common it was make a like a, a party inside yes. the school. Mm -hmm. But yeah. nowadays, yes, I think. I... <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, is um is really uh, really nice Celeb celebration with with children. In my case, in my family, um, in the morning, uh, congrats the children of of the family uh, because they they are emotion with they with this excited, day excited yes okay exciting uh-huh did you dance no 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 dance only only congrats and maybe uh food special a uh -huh. food special for the children. Special food for the children. In my family. Yes. Okay. All right. Good, good. So yeah, Children's Day, you know, it's been in existence since I have a, a, a use of my memory. 
-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Really? No. Uh, yeah. So I remember when, when mm -hmm. I was a, a student, you know, we used to either make excursions uh, with the neighborhood, not from the school, because they never gave me permission to go to excursions from school. So, you know, or, or buy something to eat, uh, break piñatas, different things. Different things. All okay. right. Are you studying with the Salesiano? No, I studied in um, Liceo Cristiano. Ah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, but I remember that, you know, like it was Children's Day, the, the, the institution organized, okay, like everybody puts one colon and we're going to call whatever. Uh, or in the neighborhood, people used to organize excursions, like let's go to Los Chorros, Amapulapa, whatever. So, but my parents were there. So that's why I went. Yes. Okay. All right, let me visit. And you, and you Jose, in, okay. in your family? Eric. All right, welcome back, welcome back. All right, any questions or comments that you may have regarding uh, Children's Day? No? Do you have good memories when you celebrated Children's Day when you were a kid? Sure. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. So, um, according to the program, um, you guys should be taking uh, your midterm exam. Have you taken it yet? Not no. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. I have no idea. Okay. Have you finished unit one? Have you finished the exercises in unit one? No, because the no, answers, uh, I, the program don't take the answer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. All right. So uh, I will share uh, the information that I have uh, 
re related with the with the answer so you guys can compare and fix it. Okay, what about unit two? Have you begun uh, working in unit two? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so the, the here's the idea that you guys do your work on a weekly basis. So work doesn't accumulate and you feel stressed out at the end that you have to... F so the work is not much, but it takes time to do it. So my suggestion every week, you know, take what, 10, 15 minutes and finish all the exercises. They're easy to follow. All right. So let me, um, let me show you this, share. All right, can you see this? The midterm exam? Yes. 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 Okay, so, so the exam has five parts. The first one is, is related with uh, listening. So you listen yeah. to the audios and after each audio, they ask you questions. The questions are easy to understand and they have the true false option. So, um, okay. Jonathan is going to casual party, formal dinner, business meeting. So it's easy to understand. So that is related with the listening part. Let me show you the, the, the second part. Okay, that's the listening. Where is this? I lost it. Okay, that was the 2.2, 2. no. So the listening part is, uh, it's not difficult to, to understand. Give me a few minutes. Okay, right here. Give me a second. Okay, midterm exam. Then you have letter B, it's called choose the words. So uh, it's about vocabulary. Look at the first exercise. When someone gives you a gift, it's polite to say, it's rude to say, thank you. So it's, uh, the, the answers are very easy to, to find. It's polite to talk about your personal problems at work or it's bad form to talk about. So, you know, it's vocabulary that uh, we use um, every day. So it's not like uh, you need to be present in class. So you can give it a try, but make sure that your score is, uh, remember that at the end of the course, you need to have 80% of all the activities finished for you to be promoted to the following uh, level. So choose the quotation, don't touch the oven, it's hot. So she warned me not to, she told me to touch the oven. So what is the message in when she says don't touch the oven, it's hot. She warned me not to. So it's vocabulary and it's reading comprehension. Did he ask her to come? King asked me to. Kim wanted to know if he asked her to come. So while you're doing this, you know, this product works, the ad warned us that, or the ad claimed that the product works. So you have to find the equivalent that they show you there. So reported speech, you go to the other one. So you complete the sentences. As soon as I go to class, my teacher gave us, was giving us. So here you have to use either the past perfect or the simple past. So whenever you start a, a new section, make sure that you read the, the instructions. 
So as you can see, this is the, the midterm exam. Uh, here is the reading comprehension part. You do the reading and then they ask you questions uh, related to it. So basically this is uh, everything that you guys are going to be doing when you're doing the midterm exam. So as you can see, the, the instructions are easy to understand and it's no big deal. Any questions or comments about the midterm exam? No, no, not yet. No, not yet. yet. We Just haven't taken uh, to it. the exercise 1.2 and 1.8 because uh, in the platform, I can. Okay. So, uh, can answer the right. So when, when you go to the platform, you answer the questions. So I will send you guys the, um, the sections <laughs> where you're having problems with, uh, so you can compare your answers with the good ones. So you can make the, the, the so you can fix them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so let's okay, continue right. with this. So today is the first day of the month. And the month, the name the is first. October. Do you like October? Sure. Yes. I love yep. it. Yeah. You know, there, there is a meme on Facebook that says that uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are like October, November, and December. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, so, so apparently they are uh, the best, it, it's the best part of the year. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, so take a, take a yes. screenshot, 8 to 9 p.m. And okay, let, let me take a picture. Sure, go ahead. So Wait. I'm, oh, I got it. Screenshots. Okay. okay, so 10 questions that you guys will be discussing. Um, this is the time uh, for you to speak. Uh, with the, all the structures that you already know. And let me see this here. Um, okay. All right. So let me assign you to work in pairs, recreate, okay. recreate. And we're going to put this person out of room in room six. Room six, room six, and out of room, move to room seven, and move to room seven. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. To the, to the season time. No, I think that 
that, that in this case it, it's related to what comes to your mind. Uh, okay, but not related to the to the weather. No, it's not related uh, to the weather. Okay. Yeah, like Diana was saying, you know, what springs to your mind is like what comes to your mind. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, in my. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me. You are you are near to the Aguinaldo. Ah. <laughs> uh, and the location. Yeah, yes, yes. It, 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 yes. But in other countries celebrate this date. Uh, the people use a uh, customer, uh, uh, the, the tradition is um, decorate the house with, with something about, about Halloween. Mm -hmm. And the 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 el día qué día I I don't know what about the specific ah yes thirty one day thirty one thirty first thirty first thirty first ah yes thirty first uh -huh. so this uh, the flowers uh, grew up the flowers and the uh, and when is uh Summer is hot. Yes. It's hot. It's spring, no. It's spring is uh, it's comfortable, the weather. The weather is comfortable in the spring. Okay. But summer is hot. And after uh, change the weather to the, to the winter, is when it's rain when raining around around the around the the, the our country and after in October maybe it's um, maybe it's autumn because the the many kind okay so maybe the other weekend we we will go into the to the beach for celebrating. Wow. But for me, I don't know, October for me is Halloween. I don't wow. know why, but all the, the companies, they celebrate the Halloween, they put uh, all the uh, the masks. And sometimes in the office, uh, we we change and we do you, we're using uh, masks for yeah. celebrate the Halloween. And it's, it was nice. It's, it's something. But now? Free. No, no, now, no. Uh, now you it's. You are working from home. Yeah. Not going to yeah. You are going. October and November. Uh, already? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. What do you think uh, of the world October? <laughs> it's a month. <laughs> it's a month. Uh huh. Yeah. I just we just related to to the windy weather because uh, we don't have a, a autumn uh, here. It's like a, the fall. Uh -huh. We we don't have the fall season. We just have a rainy and dry season. Yeah, uh -huh. we don't see yeah. the the four seasons. So yeah, yeah. I just think on um, windy weather, but the windy weather is gone. It's gone from October. What are mm, people? Yeah. What are people who are born in October like? I don't know what kind of a zodiac sign uh, are people who who is born in October. Let okay. Me check, let me check with the. With they're, the they're, they're Libra. They're Libra. Are they Libra? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. I so, what, what, so what is their personality? Are they friendly? Uh, Do you know anybody who is born in October? No. No. Only uh, okay. Um, only my cousin. Okay. okay. <laughs> and yeah, my my cousin uh, born in was born in October twenty seventh. Okay. Um, and yeah. how is the personality? Oh, it's, she's, uh, she's a little jet. 
Okay. Yeah, she Little had girl. only yeah, she had only four years. She is only oh, four. Okay. Only four. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. This course. <laughs> what? The, what plans do you have for next October? This October. Yeah, but it says the next October, but the, the, the October is right now. I, I want uh, to finish this course. <laughs> Yeah, when they say next October, uh, they're talk they're making reference to October two thousand twenty one. Um, oh, I think my my only plan for the next October two thousand twenty one is it's to be alive. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have. To I be don't alive. Have yes. Yeah. Exactly. I, yeah, I just want to end my this year with with life and health and exactly. my family complete. Right, and right. Yeah, that is people's priority, you know, stay healthy yeah. and be alive. It's uh, the only thing that I want is that my family complete health uh, work. Not much. This year has has been especially especially tough. Yes. Really tough. Very tough. Very mm -hmm. tough in, in in different ways. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, in the same uh, is. What do you think of the word October? What do you think? Uh, is that is like a first? Uh -huh, similar. I think in. But, but I think in October first, but don't oh, try it. <laughs> so, so what are the celebrations in October? <laughs> what are it's the celebrations? In my case, I... Um, what yes, is it? No, you... In, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, um, in my case, I I celebrating the my sister birthday. Okay, is is more important day because he, she is is very very important for the family because she always is is uh, celebrating the burden for the others member of the family okay then this day is i like i like so much celebrating her 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 burden so she deserves it pardon she deserves it she deserves it. Se lo merece. Ah, yeah. Sí. Yes, yes. Yes, because she always celebrating. For other people. For other people, yes. Okay. Um, so it's her turn now. Are very friendly. Yes, they and are. Hara, and Hara, um, charmies. And also, are funny people. Mm -hmm. They are funny. And like the the parties too. <laughs> <laughs> they are like uh, I don't know. They are really really friendly, and all, all the people love love them. Yes, I don't they, know why. I don't know why. It, it's really weird. I don't believe in astrology, but it's kind of a, a coincidence. Yes. Okay. When is your birthday, Diana? It's on uh, November 9th. Okay. And yours, Norma? April 12th. April 1st? No, 12th. April? 12th. 12th? Yes. Okay. And you, teacher? Uh, December. December 21st. 
That's wow. Right. <laughs> yeah. Very good month. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's the best month of the year. I, I consider that December is the best month of the year. It uh, is, it is. Everybody yes, is, is, is happier than usual. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. But yes, I, I, on the people like it to, to, to get a, give a present. Right. <laughs> right. Everybody's friendlier than usual. So people offer presents. Right. Yes. But I assume, I assume that you receive only one present for Christmas and for your birthday yeah yeah because you know like usually you know like presents come um uh, in my birthday not not for christmas <laughs> when I, but when i was a kid i used to receive presents for my birthday and then again for christmas oh, but yeah. now everything has changed you know like i'm the one giving presents i i have a one nephew and he he his birthday is uh, December three, but he always uh, demanding two presents for the birthday and another for the Christmas. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Because from from December third to the twenty fourth, that's like three weeks uh, apart. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. The number seven. What do you? Yes. Next, could you read the next one? Okay, what is October on the list of the best months? On the list of the best month. Mm, where is October on the list? Is there? So okay. if you if you classify October as one of your favorites, is it first, second, third? What is the category that you classify October? Classify October. Mm. In 10. 10. So you're talking about from 1 to 10. Huh? Yeah, for, from the 12 months. So in my case, let's uh -huh. say uh, December is my favorite. Uh -huh, okay. Second, November. And October uh -huh. is number three in my case. Mm, okay. And um, in hmm. my case, the number three, two, because I prefer December uh -huh. and February, in February. Right, yeah. right, okay. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Jose? Well, in my case, I, October the second one, because I was talking with her, in a, with, with Vilma, and I said that I have two brothers that born in October. I have one brother-in-law in my little girl born in October. Too. Oh, it is my birthday in October for me. <laughs> okay, so so when exactly are their birth dates? Uh, the the first brother is October the first today. The second one is October twelfth, and my little uh, girl born in October the tenth. Um, my uh, brother in love, I think, is October the twenty eighth. Okay. But the first three that you mentioned, like Children's Day, Columbus Day, mm -hmm. uh, October 10th was the day of the of the earthquake uh, in 1985 oh, really? or 86, I think, many years ago. Oh. Yeah, 1987, 86, 87, I think. Or 85, I don't uh -huh. remember. That yeah. was many years ago. <laughs> yes, yes, I forgot the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes. I think yeah. uh, for me, the, the number one is September, number two is December, number three, November, and number four is October. <laughs> Are there any bad things about the month of October? Yeah, many things. Bad things in October. And you? Are there any bad things in October? Mm, in my case, no, because um, always I 
well, when I was a child, I remember this, this month, this month, I usually did, or do I usually, I don't know, how do you say? I used to do, oh, I, I used, used to, to study, do, I used to study. I used I used to study so much, but I don't think that he, this is bad. Not bad thing. No, for when me I no. tell you When I, uh, I tell you about the, the bad things in October when I was a child. For the example, the earthquake in 1986, and my my old brother uh, died in this month. Really? Uh, yes, teacher. And I remember the earthquake too, because it's a catastrophe in San Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Uh, just two things really bad in my memories. And okay. what plans do you have for next? But it, it was a very good strategy, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi, teacher. We were talking about the, the, the program that we like that we have time to practice our English because only with the grammar structures and all the, the information, Sometimes it's very difficult because for me, in my specific case, I was telling Mario that I don't remember the 12 tenses by its names, but I can use them, or I think that I can use them and I understand them and I can make the, the, the sentences with the structures. Yes. But when, when you ask me, for example, tell me the structure of present, progressive, I don't know, uh -huh. I cannot say it because I don't recognize the name. So okay, a, yeah, that's good. Story. You know, because right now that you're telling me this, you made a combination of five different tenses without thinking, and that's the idea. That's the point. Like you use the language naturally, spontaneously, and uh, you don't need to know the names, honestly. But um, that that's good. You know, like I don't know the names, but I know how to use it, and that's. That's the most important thing, using the language. Yes. Good. And, and, and how long have you been a teacher? Uh, I have been teaching since 1996, 1996. 96. Yes. God. Only yeah, teaching so English. Yeah, only English. Uh, my first experience in a school, they asked me to teach um, calligraphy and spelling because they told me can you help us with other subjects and i said honestly you know like i don't know much about social studies language and all that so just the first year i taught spelling and, and calligraphy in spanish and then after that the following years uh different subjects but in english uh, and where did you learn english um i grew up in california in san uh. francisco Yes. Nice. What happened, Francisco? Why do you return here in El Salvador? It's a long story. You know, <laughs> the, the, the first the first time that I returned was in 95, 1995. I came with my parents to get my residence. And um, I met my ex-wife. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so I decided to stay, but I've been going back and forth since since 1995. Ah, uh, uh, nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so that's why I decided to stay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was a very short history, so nice, man. <laughs> because yeah. you had, you decided to return here in El Salvador because you know your what your ex-wife, but. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can, uh, why, why do you don't have a, a, a girlfriend in the United States? So I don't know. 
no, the, here's the thing. You know, I came back with my with my parents. I was 23 years old. You know, I didn't know uh -huh. what I wanted in life. You know, I was uh, very immature in, in many aspects. So when I came, I told my parents that I wanted to stay a little bit longer. So they said, well, if you're going to stay here, either you go to university or or you get a job. And I was single, no responsibilities, no anything. So I said, so I'll go to university. So I enrolled in university and that's where we met. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's, that's, nice. that's, that's a small portion of a long story. But in the university, you started to be a teacher of a specific subject. Uh, yes, uh, I studied licenciatura en idioma inglés. And, yeah, and also, okay. they you receive teaching classes, you know. Mm -hmm. But, Irenia, you're a teacher. You know that the real teacher gets the practice in the classroom. You know, university is it's like a reference that you may have, but yeah. you become a real teacher in, in a classroom. Yes, yeah. because most of the things that you learn in the university are only theories. Yeah, and theory. You, you, you learn on the road. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. All right, so let me visit another room and then we go back to the main session. Okay. Bye-bye, okay. sure. Francisco. All right. Coffee, I used to, to drink a glass of water, go to, yeah. the, go, go to the toilet, okay? So two hours were, mm, were okay. Those yeah. are tough, but, uh, but we're, how to say, we had the chance to, to I mean, the teacher had the chance to, Give more extended explanations and comprehensive. Yeah, Plus, I all I, I I always uh, was eating. <laughs> uh huh. In the in the middle of the class. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you saw me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Did you guys finish all the questions? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, let's go. We are back. talking. Okay. We're still talking about them. All right. Very different. good. Yeah. Let's go back. Thank. Okay. All right, all right. Um, any questions about the activity you guys were doing? Are all the questions clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, good. Okay, I don't know if you have covered this part of the platform. Can you see my screen? Yeah, that's perfect, yeah. Okay, adverse with a simple pass and pass perfect. So let me, how do you say letras negritas in English? Bold letters. Bold letters. letters. Bold letters. So when we're talking about adverse that we use in the simple pass or pass perfect, we're talking about the ones that are here with bold letters. So uh, can somebody please read the, the four Ball letter words that we have in the first part. Me, teacher. Please. Afterwards, later, the next day, last. Okay, good. Thank you. So, afterwards, later, the next day, and then the verb in the past form, they indicate that something happened after something else. So, first we went to the park, and then afterwards we went to the bank. So you indicate which one happened first. Or you can say we went to the park first and later we visited your grandmother. So that indicates a sequence of events. Teacher. Also, yes. A question. Yes. Um, there's a correct form to say, for example, first we went to the park or we went to the park first. Uh, it, they can be placed uh, in, the, in, in two different positions. So you say, first we went to the park. Or if you prefer, you say, we went to the park first. So it can be at the beginning or at the end. That's your decision. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes, and those are called um, sequence adverbs. First, second, after, next, then, and so on. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, any questions about after, later, the next day? or the form of the verb in the past form? Do you mean after what, teacher? 
afterwards is another form to say after. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're synonyms. And the last one, what is the name? Left. Left. When you go to a circus and you think that something is funny, you laugh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You laugh. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No. Okay, with the second group, we're talking about two different things that happen at the same time. So you mm -hmm. said, uh, when my brother came, we were having dinner. When my brother came, we were having dinner. So you're sitting at a table, you're having dinner, and your brother comes. So two things at the same time. As soon as the moment, and then you put the verbs in the past uh, form. As soon as, how do you say that one in Spanish? Tan pronto como. Tan pronto como. Tan pronto como vino ella, nos fuimos. So she came, as soon as she came, we left. So you're talking about two different activities that happened simultaneously. And then you have the last one uh, to confirm facts. So up until then, here. up until then, before that, until that time, and then you use the past perfect form. So up until then, how do you say that one in Spanish? Hasta entonces. Hasta entonces. What about before that? Antes que. Before that, antes de eso. Antes de eso. And then you say until that time. Until that time. Hasta que el tiempo. Hasta ese momento. Hasta ese momento. Hasta ese momento. Hasta ese momento. Exactly. Exactly. Until that time, I met my cousin. So uh, you, you're, you're using those expressions, those adverbs, to confirm when something is true. Okay, any questions about this uh, small review? No, not no. teacher, up until today. Okay, so let me, where is the other one? This one here, here. Remember, if you have a noisy background, try to put yourself in mute. Okay. Maybe they are celebrating Children's Day. Oh, they're celebrating Children's <laughs> Day, maybe. Yes. Okay, section two. Let's see this here. All right. No, but that's not the one. Section two, section two, right here. 2.11, let's do the knowledge check. Okay, so uh, do you see the pictures? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's happening in the yes, first picture? Uh, okay, a guy is uh, throwing the, the, guy the glass down of water. The, the okay. Glass okay. So water. where are they? Where are they? In a restaurant. In a restaurant, a cafeteria. Uh, what is the reaction of the other two guys? Of the other two people? <laughs> they laugh. Yeah. They are laughing at, at the boy who's, who has thrown the, the glass of water accidentally. Okay. How do you say botaste el vaso o botaste el agua? You drop the water? Yes, you drop the water. Drop. D R O P. Drop. So someone is walking and you see that they uh, their wallet goes down. They say, hey, excuse me, you dropped your wallet. You dropped your bag. You dropped your 
anything that you put on the floor by accident, you say drop. Okay, what about the other uh, the other picture, picture B? It is a car crash. Okay, the, the, the red car, what is the direction that is taken? It's going backward. Ah, uh, crash. Okay, it's going on reverse. Crashing with, with okay. other car. Right. Now, who's in the blue car? Who's in the blue car? Yeah. Who I is in the blue nobody. car? Nobody. Nobody, exactly. Nobody. nobody. Okay. So, why do you think she crashed the car? Maybe she didn't see anything? Maybe she didn't notice that did. the car was parked. Right, maybe Teacher. she didn't notice that the car was parked, yes? Teacher, only a, a comment. I yes. think you can mute the student because it is a lot of noise. Okay, right now. To understand and right listen now. to you. Okay. Okay, and last question. Uh, so she was going on reverse, and maybe she hadn't noticed that the, there was a blue car behind. So by accident, she hit the other, the other car. Okay, um, any questions or comments about today's class? You can unmute yourself now. I have a question. Yes. Yeah, yes. I have a question for you, teacher. Yes, ask me. You, you, I was talking about the exam. When we can do the exam? Uh, this weekend, the latest. This weekend. This weekend? This weekend. This weekend. Yes, this weekend. Okay. Right. Okay. To finish units uh, one, two, okay. and the midterm. Okay. All right. So if you don't have any other questions or comments, thank you very much. Have a nice weekend, and I'll be seeing you on Monday. Same place, same time. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice Take care. Weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye. 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 See you later. Okay. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Good night.